Hi, today I'll be showing you how to change which pages automatically start up when you first open up Google Chrome. So let me go ahead and open up the browser and show you what it looks like. By default, when you first open up Chrome, you're presented with their new tab page. What this is, is it's Google search as well as links to your most commonly or recently visited pages. But we're going to change that to actually open up specific websites. So on the right side here are three parallel lines that give us this new menu. And then we're going to go down and click on settings. From the settings menu, there's a section called on startup. And this determines which pages open on startup. So by default, it's set to the new tab page. We can change this to continue where you left off, which will just reopen whatever pages you were last viewing. Or what we'll do this time is open a specific page or set of pages. If you choose this option, be sure to then click the set pages link. And now you can specify the URLs of the websites you want to open whenever Chrome opens. So I'll go ahead and put in two. So I have the option of doing one or more. So I'll put in Google and then I'll put in Yahoo. And then I'll click OK. There's no other save button that I need to hit. Now I can actually close the browser and reopen it to show you what it looks like. So now I have two tabs opening up every time I open Chrome, Google.com and Yahoo.com. One other thing to note, in Google, your startup pages are separate from your home page. So going back to the options menu on the right side here, and then settings, we can actually specify showing the home button, which is off by default. By checking this button, we'll get the home button here, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. And then once we enable that, we have the option of changing that again from the new tab page to whatever page we want. In this case, I already specified msn.com ahead of time. So now, whenever you're on any page, by clicking the Home button, you are taken to that home page you've set. Again, this is separate from your startup pages.